The following tutorial covers how to add a gene ontology term in Ficanto. Ficanto allows you to choose gene ontology annotations or Go annotations for biological process, molecular function and cellular component. You need to decide whether you need one or none and whichever annotation you choose you need to make sure that it correctly captures what you're describing in that particular experiment. In this publication there are two genes, one belonging to the pathogen Ostilagomitis, this is the gene Simu1, and another one belonging to the host Zeamice, and that is the gene QLing1. I have already added these genes, which is one of the first steps when using Ficanto. There is another tutorial where you can see how to do this if you need any help. So now I will carry on and click on the pathogen, and as you can see here, at the top, I have the options to add a Go term for molecular function, biological process, or cellular component. This particular publication already has Go terms pre-existing, but you can always add your own. You can have a small explanation about what each of these Go categories mean. You can always glide with your mouse onto the question mark, where you will find a small explanation for molecular function, biological process, and cellular component. If this is still not enough for you, you can always go to our help section, just click here, and then go on the gene ontology annotations. Here you will find a much more extensive explanation about choosing the correct Go term and then the evidence code that you will need. If this is still not enough, you can always go to the Go organization for more information, where there is more detailed explanation about each of these ontology categories. I will first annotate a Go molecular function for this gene, because its product has an activity that takes place at the molecular level, in this case, a chorismate mutase activity. So then I click on Go molecular function, and I start writing chorismate mutase, and as you can see, there is a Go term for it. Then I just click on it. Sometimes you will find child terms which define more clearly this particular Go term. This is not the case. If you do not find the Go term that describes your uh, genes product precisely, you can always suggest a new term. Just click here and then put in the term's name that you suggest. In this case, like I said, I already have it, but I could say, but let's say that chorismate mutase was not available, then I could just type in chorismate mutase. And in here, I just need to add a brief description of this um, new term. Once I have done that, I just click on submit suggestion, and afterwards one member of our team will look into this and add the corresponding new term if that is necessary. Anyhow, in this case, chorismate mutase activity is already available, then I just click on proceed, and the next step here is to choose the correct evidence code. Just click here on the menu, and these are the options that are available. For this, you need to look into the experiment that describes this uh, molecular activity. In this case, it's from a direct assay, so I will choose this option. In the Gene Ontology webpage, you will also find more information on the experimental evidence evidence codes with more extensive descriptions for each of them. Then once again click on proceed and from my publication I know that this activity is part of a biological process which is uh, an effector mediated suppression of the host innate immune response so I will start typing and options will start to pop up and then I can just go through them till I find the one that I am looking for in this case is the effector mediated suppression of the host salicylic acid mediated innate immune signaling so I just choose there and there are no trial terms sometimes once again you have trial terms that you can choose from I will just click on finish once this is done, you can always add more descriptors, like it has a function during a particular biological process or its physical location. Once you have added all of the annotation extensions that you think you need, you can just click on proceed. What you have to do here is add which figure of your publication is describing this molecular function. In this case is the figure 2D. And always have the option to add any additional information that you feel will describe this in more detail. Then just click on proceed. And now you can see see here that the Go term chorismate mutase activity has appeared. Just need to follow a similar step like I showed for adding a Go molecular function when you want to add a Go biological process or a Go cellular component annotation. 